Why argue? Why fight? Why criticize? I heard two people arguing and fighting as they passed by my house. And I told myself, what a waste of energy. What a waste of time. Arguing is usually caused by just different opinion, different views, different perspectives, different choice of action, different choice of words. Why do I say that it's a waste of energy? Because there are only three important rules in living a good life. The first rule is to have the serenity to accept the things that you cannot change. The second rule is to have the courage to change the things that you can change. And the third rule, which is the most important rule, is to have the wisdom to know the difference between what you can and cannot change. This is my guideline in my relationship with others. Whoever is listening to this video must be an adult. So my question is, what is the difference between an adult and a child? Well, a child cannot make decisions, whereas an adult can make decisions. You have to tell a child what to do. No one has the authority to tell an adult what to think, what to say, and what to do. We all have the freedom to make choices in our thinking, in our actions, beliefs, choices of friends, jobs, career, business, food, lifestyle, and no one can question that. So it is pointless to criticize people and it is foolish to insist on people what you think and what you want. Why? Because you cannot change or control anybody. You have no authority to dictate what others should think, say, or do. This is the same as rule number one. Otherwise, you will just be disappointed or frustrated, and it is your doing. You can only change or control yourself in responding to others. Know the boundaries in your relationship with others. Draw the line of limitations and never cross that line. This is the same as rule number three. When people tell me about their problems and issues in life, I never tell people what to do. Especially, especially when they are not asking for my advice or my opinion. But even if I'm asked for an opinion or even if I'm asked for an advice, I still don't tell people what to do because their life is not my life to live. Rather, I respond by saying, if I were in your situation, this is what I would do. But I'm not you. So you need to decide what is best for you. I say this only when I am asked for an advice. But if not, otherwise, I just listen. I don't give an opinion. This is how I respect others. When people voluntarily offer advice or an opinion about my choices, I turn a deaf ear. Why? It's not their place to tell me what to do. It is totally uncalled for. If I do not ask for an opinion or an advice, it means that I don't need it. I do not need to be told what to do and I refuse to be manipulated or pushed around. The reason is because anyone's situation is different from my situation in life. And what is right for them may be wrong for me. And what is right for me may be wrong for them. That is how I respect myself. These are my reasons why I don't argue with people. I generously share my views, especially in writing my books, but those views are only applicable to me. If people believe in me, well and good. If not, I accept. I don't insist my views and perspectives because I'm not responsible for the lives of others. I am only responsible for my life. So I leave people alone to live their lives. In my household, we are free to make our own choices. But in making those choices, we encourage each other to be considerate and mindful. We give respect to each other's unique ways 
thoughts and actions. We do not criticize one another. We do not insist upon each other. Rather, we encourage each other to live life better.